What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. It is freezing outside right now, but it's a must. I gotta take the car, go get it cleaned. I got straight mud on my tires right now. There is crap all kicked up in my wheel wells. Where I live is like on a back road and kind of like off, it's like a one lane. If there's another car coming, you're pretty much have no choice but to go in the mud a little bit. And yeah, I went in the mud and I'm pretty upset about it. Car's disgusting. So let's go wash it up real quick before I go freeze to death trying to get this done. And we're gonna bring it back, go over some top five mods. Colin is coming over right now. He did pick up something. It is a strut tire brace that he got. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for like 50 bucks. Brand new strut tire brace. I think they go for like 200 brand new. I'm not sure, never even looked at them to buy them brand new, but he found one for 50 bucks because of me. You're welcome, Colin. So yeah, he's gonna get here and we're gonna help him put it on, but let's go get this thing washed up first. One of my favorite things about having an automatic is just being able to remote start it. In the Fox body, you can't do that, and pretty much any other manual, you cannot do that. So it is awesome. Healthy boys. I'm gonna put this in on the other side, on the pasture side. Dude, it sounds so good. I can't wait to get the headers on. I feel like once I put the headers on this car, it's gonna tone it down a lot on startup just because it's gonna be flowing a lot more. And then once I really start getting on it, it's gonna like extremely get loud and wake the car up beyond, I don't even know. I don't think I've heard a Gen 3 Coyote with like straight up long tubes and everything. This is gonna be a rough time washing the car, guys. I already know it's gonna be freezing. It's gonna be bad. Some of the car washes are always so disgusting. People always bring their like big trucks here that are like caked in mud and the whole floor in here will be like straight caked in like one inch of mud from people mudding around here. And I'm like, God, I can't even bring the car here to wash it because they destroy the whole wash bay. Let's go get this thing cleaned real quick. I ain't trying to be out here forever and freeze to death. Got the car all cleaned up, just needs to get another little wipe down. You know, riding on that back road gets a little bit dusty. So this video is based off of the first mods you could do that are pretty much all the total five mods that are under a thousand dollars for your 2015 to 2021 S550 Mustang. And let's start our way to the front and work our way to the back. First mod I highly recommend, as soon as you get your Mustang home from the dealer, please go buy a JLT catch can. So guys, the catch can will save your car in the long run. It catches all the oil from going back through your throttle body all the way back into your manifold. It will kill your car in the long run. So that mod, $150, could possibly save your engine and it's one of the best mods. You see everyone with high performance cars that really race their car and really run it, have a catch can on it. And guys, there's a reason behind that and you could just do your research. The catch cans, they do their job, especially the JLT ones. I had a problem with the UPR one on the F-150, but I've never had a problem with my JLT, so make sure you go with JLT. As you can see, I do have a Mishimoto coolant tank. I think it was like two, 300 bucks, so this isn't like one of the mods you necessarily need for a Coyote, but I liked it. I was like, you know what? I always wanted one of my cars, so I put it, but that is not one of the mods. I'm just showing you them. That's kind of cheap, 300 bucks, and then I spent like another 50 bucks to get it painted, so it turned out awesome. Another mod you definitely should get on your S550 that is cheap is the Ford Performance hood struts. They are kind of a pain to do. I did kind of hack this up cutting it a little bit because I was like, oh, that's right where I need to cut it. But no, yeah, I was a little bit off and these things are kind of hard to press down. But it's easy install for the most part. Just take your time and look over the directions. You'll get it. And guys, you don't have to use this anymore. This thing is junk. I really want to rip it off and throw it away, but I never know. If one of them fails, I still have this, so it's like I have a backup. It's kind of crazy. The only Ford Performance product to ever come with a hood strut is the 2020 GT500, and I was like, thinking about it, I'm like, didn't they put it on the 350s? And then I was like, no, they didn't. Ford, come on, bro. Start throwing them on everything. We hate using that little, whatever you want to call it, that little up piece to hold it all. Get some hood struts on all the Mustangs. Please do it. So another part for the car that is somewhat cheap, not crazy expensive. We're trying to keep this first five mods under a thousand bucks. So right up to the front, get yourself some gloss black 5.0 Coyote emblems. I mean, they look perfect. Mine were chrome and 
it looked disgusting. Once you put the black, completely changes the look on the car. And I think I got them off of American Muscle or Amazon. I can't remember, but it was like 25 bucks for the two. It's kind of a rip off in my opinion. I feel like they should be like 10 bucks. Why is just a piece of plastic, almost $30. But it makes the whole look of the car look so much better. I kind of want to get this bronze. It's a little hint to what my wheels are going to be, but yeah. Definitely a mod you must do on your car. As of now, let's include the JLT catch can, the emblems, and the hood struts. Let's roughly say we're probably at 400 bucks. Perfect, right there in three simple mods that help the car engine-wise, help you hold the hood up, and looks-wise. So those are three mods right away. Now to talk about the exhaust, you can find a used X-pipe Guys, there are so many deals on Facebook Marketplace. Just keep an eye out, look for them. I got my Steeda X-Pipe for like 150 bucks, I think I paid, I can't remember exactly. But it makes a world of a difference for the 18 and up cars just because the factory mufflers on the 18 and up, they sound so good, they flow perfect. And guys, I swear, this car just with an X-Pipe was louder than my car. My old one, 2016, with the long tubes, X-Pipe, and I had RTR street back mufflers. This car is already louder and I can't wait to put two inch headers all the way back on it and some high flow green high flow cats. So everything we're probably at a solid like 550 bucks, 600 bucks, if that, with all the parts I just mentioned. So if you kind of want to give this car a good stance, set it off a little bit, but rock the stock performance pack wheels because they do look good. Nothing wrong with them. There are a nice set of wheels and they probably will hold up very well in the long run compared to some aftermarket wheels. You can get some spacers on them just to line them up perfect. Set the car off so they sit right up against the edge. You guys see how they're kind of tucked in. If you got some nice spacers, it would just bring it right to the edge and it would make the car look a whole lot better. Plus, if you want to go overboard and spend over the thousand dollar limit, I was trying to keep it under for you guys. You can do some lowering springs, drop it down an inch, inch and a half, whatever you like. I don't know. I don't like my car super, super low. I might do a little bit of lowering spring on this car, still haven't decided, just because I really want to put a big wheel and tire setup on here so it will hook up the best as possible. Plus, I do have the magnetic ride, so my only option is the Ford Performance lowering springs that they do offer for the Shelby GT350. And yeah, that is another option to set this car off. So not all Mustangs do come with a strut tire brace. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace. I did find one for Colin for like 50 bucks, brand new. It was the same one as mine, but if you want to spend another extra $150, you can take it to my boy at Dylan Powder Coat Express. He'll make you a custom one. Put your IG, YouTube, whatever you want to put on it. And it definitely sets off the engine bay, paint matched and everything with the Oxford way and a little bit of bronze. So that is another option you can keep in mind. It's the little things like that that make the car personal. There's a lot of people with Mustangs out there and granted, everyone always hates on Mustangs. Oh, it's just another Mustang, but some people won't understand. You gotta love Mustangs, you gotta own them, you gotta have them for a long time to know what we're talking about. And I know where it hits guys. Every Mustang is personal. I swear, every Mustang I drive feels different. And there's something special about them, honestly. And that's why I love them. That's why I love the Mustang community. But everyone's Mustang, you gotta make it a little different. So that is an option you can do. Colin's on his way over right now. He's bringing his car. He just got that stress tire brace that I sent to him for 50 bucks. But, oh shoot, he's coming in right now. If you guys didn't notice, Colin got his taillights. It's like a little piece. It's like a plastic clip piece that goes in there to smoke the taillights. He got them on and it set the car off in the rear so much better. Dang, is this a Lambo? What's going on YouTube? It's Italian <laughs> Stallion number two. <laughs> Dang, the turd looking clean, son. Yeah, it's always looking clean, let me tell you, man. Shoot, let me see your back taillight pieces. I was just telling them. Where's Steve at? Steve? I don't know where Steve is. I need to get them. I kind of like them. eBay deal today, baby. Colin's... His... I don't even know, man. Like 40 bucks, something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your strut tire brace. Where's your strut tire brace at? Oh, look. This is the... <laughs> Hold on, guys. A little backstory. You guys remember Guido, or Meatball, chewed the front end of my Corvette. A little so... backstory. So when you get a girlfriend and, you know, the next thing you do, you buy a dog, you know what? You might as well just... Don't even get a girlfriend because you're gonna get a dog, and then this is gonna happen right here. <laughs> Look at Colin's key fob. You know, just a 
$300 key just destroyed. <laughs> There's no buns on it. Now, but wait, I don't even... You had to memorize what's, <laughs> what's Is that the lock? Double, Unlock? Double tap underneath for the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> which one's the trunk one? You know what you're doing here. No, I don't know. Mine's different than yours. I have remote start. Dang. He, why don't you just use the other key and throw that one away? Because it looks cool. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. Dang, fifty dollar pickup. Also, a GT five hundred right here. <laughs> That's the same one that was on mine. So where do we put this? We attach this underneath, right? Yeah, you put that right there. But we're gonna spray paint it black first. All right. Screw it. You got the AutoZone paint or what? AutoZone. Some little plasti dip. Taking a look at this GT right now. I guess um. They don't have bolts for cars. <laughs> so this side has them because there's a little brace over there. But mine has another black brace that runs in the back. And we're about to go back in the garage and show you guys. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why Ford didn't put bolts here. So we're going to have to go get bolts for Colin's car. Looks like I got to sell it back on Facebook. You didn't even look for the bolts. You didn't even check. You came all the way here. I was showing you Colin's truck tire brace. We're having a little trouble. I think Colin does need this black brace in the back just to make it like mine, but we're gonna run and go get some bolts for uh, a later time and get it actually situated on there 100%, make sure it doesn't have no problems. I hope you enjoyed that. Those are pretty much the five mods under a thousand bucks you can get, pretty much new and used. You can find some better deals on Facebook Marketplace and on the S550 forums on Facebook. But yeah guys, like I was saying, those mods will pretty much change the whole look of your car front to back down to the wheels, down to the sound, and even saving your engine for the long haul with the JLT Cash Can. And guys, you won't regret it. Those are pretty much the beginner mods for your 2015 to 21 S550 Mustang. I did it with my old one and I did it with my new one. So guys, I know you will too. And you definitely won't regret it. It will help your car in the long run. Please drop down in the comments below if you guys wanna see me do anything with my S550, or if you have any parts that you recommend me buying and I can do an install video for you and show you how to get that done. I'm out. Peace.